Hello all you beautiful people out there, what is going on? This is your friend Birdick coming at you fast with some Halo Master Chief Collection gameplay. That is right, and right here you guys are seeing the Halo 4 part of Halo MCC. We're playing a, what is it called, action sack or something like that? It's like a mosh pit of really funny, kooky game modes. And This one's called Binary Slayer where you only have the binary sniper rifle and an energy sword and you just go at it. Oh, and you also have unlimited thrusters, so this one should be fun. So hopefully you guys enjoy this gameplay. I found it really, really fun to play. So hopefully you guys enjoy it. It's not your typical kind of Halo, just BRs and Magnums the whole time. It's pretty, pretty crazy. But today what we're going to be talking about is Gamescom. Gamescom is a crazy, crazy, crazy big convention in Germany. Over 400,000 people attended uh, this year. And it's awesome, man. They showed a lot of cool stuff. I mean, obviously everybody probably knows by now Black Ops 3. Uh, everybody's seen the Black Ops 3 reveal. That was absolutely awesome. You know, super cool looking game. Really awesome. I can't wait for it. Uh, they showed more Halo 5 gameplay. So, uh, they also gave access to Halo 5 Warzone, which there's some gameplay on YouTube already out of that. Halo 5 looks really, really cool. Already pre-ordered that as well. Uh, and then some more, you know, awesome, awesome games. So... I don't think Sony was there. If, if, if they were, then they didn't broadcast it, I don't think. But Xbox's, you know, conference and all that kind of stuff is usually and always broadcasted in Gamescom. And I saw the conference there, and it was really, really cool, really good, really good job Phil Spencer uh, has done, you know, setting it all up and presenting all the cool new things coming out in a really cool way. Uh, pretty much, they just added on some, some more Halo 5 news. They showed some more Tomb Raider uh, gameplay, which looked really cool as well. Tomb Raider is a really good game. I played the Definitive Edition, really liked it. Um, you know, they also showed some other stuff. They showed Scalebound for the first time, which looks really, really cool in my opinion, because I'm a big Final Fantasy fan. And I think that game looked a lot like Final Fantasy, so I think that's really, really cool. Ooh, look at that sniper shot, though. Um, you know. So that was really, really cool. We saw that gameplay for the first time. If you don't know what Scalebound is, you're pretty much like this dude who has this crazy magical connection with a dragon and you're a dragon tamer and you just like, you, you have a pet dragon and you just blow stuff up with him and it's it's awesome, man. You got like a sword and, and, and headphones and music and, and it's everything. Everything that you want in video games there. So I'm, I'm pretty excited. Gamescom always gets me excited for fall because it reminds me of all the awesome games coming out later and then makes me look forward to some games in 2016 to come out as well forza 6 looks really cool i'm a pretty I'm a pretty big car fan i have forza horizon 2 and motorsport 5 i don't know if i'll be getting motorsport 6 at least not right away i'm not pre-ordering it or anything because i literally don't have time for that because i'm gonna be bu too busy playing destiny the taken king and then halo and then black ops 3 obviously and i also have battlefront pre-ordered as well so i'm gonna have my hands full this fall making a bunch of videos on all those games for you guys uh for you guys to enjoy um so yeah so i mean in general you know i think i think xbox has really stepped up from what it used to be uh at least when xbox one first released i remember that e3 press conference that thing was just so so awful and then they've come pretty far from then since then uh, since that e3 and since uh the gamescom of 2013 they come pretty pretty damn far now in 2015 and it looks pretty looks pretty good looks pretty good i'm not gonna lie the game lineup is pretty sexy licious uh they got gears of war 4 coming in 2016 um, they got the um whatchamacallit uh fable legends that's what it was called sorry i'm not too big of a fable fan but i know that's a pretty big xbox franchise as well so they might have given away their call of duty uh, contract over to PlayStation, but to be honest, man, I only got my Xbox mainly for the exclusives as well. I got it for competitive COD, just like as an extra little bonus thing, but I got it for Halo mainly. I love Halo. I'm, I'm a really, really big Halo fan. I ended up really liking Forza as well. Haven't gotten into Gears yet. I might get into Gears. We'll see what happens, but yeah, I think Halo did uh, a pretty good job with Halo 5. It looks really clean, looks awesome, looks like the best one they've ever made, to be honest, but we're just going to have to wait and see how it plays out. So I'm going to take a break from talking about Gamescom so you guys can enjoy this quick little interesting bit of gameplay. Is 
Isn't that funny? <laughs> I just kept mashing the thrusters the entire time because there were snipers everywhere. So I was just trying to be as acrobatic as possible and ended up killing each other. I thought that was really funny, so I decided to put in that little snippet in there. But yeah, if you guys really like Gamescom or you guys want to share some games that you're excited for, whether or not it's for Xbox or PlayStation or even PC, uh, feel free to share it down in the comment section below. I will be reading those comments, so it, it'll be interesting to see uh, what people think and what people are excited for. Uh, besides Xbox games, though, I am excited for Fallout 4. Obviously, that game looks awesome. And uh, there's also a couple of other games. Uh, that look good as well. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this gameplay, this video in general. If you did, please drop a like, comment, subscribe, all that good, good stuff. And as always, make sure you all have a wonderful day.